Okay, so I received this package today. It's from Lighttake. It should contain three puzzles. Usually, I don't order several puzzles at once. Um, I'll just order one because my thinking is that if the package goes missing, then it's just one puzzle that goes missing instead of several of them. But the reason why I bought three puzzles at once from Lighttake this time is because they had a sale on on some of the puzzles. So, and it was only lasting for five days. So, uh, yeah, let's open it up. Okay, so we've got the uh, the cube for you. It should be the three by three by seven. Tower of Babel. And uh, the Shengshou Crazer 2x2. Two two. So, uh, okay. Let's open this up first. Let's uh, just zoom in a bit and get it into focus. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've shown these boxes before, so let's just open it up. So this is indeed the 3x3x7, looks really nice actually, uh, I've got the regular colour scheme there, let's see what it turns like, it should turn really great because most uh, cubic cube view puzzles do turn great. feels as though the tension is a little tight but it kind of feels, it doesn't, like usually when I get a new puzzle it feels dry and scratchy, this doesn't, so I'm thinking maybe it's been lubed, I don't know. That's interesting, when I turn, when I turn this layer it seems a bit looser from these layers and these layers, maybe it's just my imagination, I'm not sure. Uh, Turns good this way as well. So you can scramble this like a 3x3 three three as well. Oops. See what the corner cutting is like. It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. So uh, let's give this a scramble. So now I own a cube view, cubic, three by three by four, a three by three by five, a three by three by six, and now the uh, the three by three by seven. So I'm not sure if this is going to be any different from when solving it, I'm not sure if it's going to be any different from the 3x3x5, three by three by maybe it'll be just the same but just kind of more of it because there's more layers, or maybe there might be some parities on this one that you don't get on the 3x3x5, three by, three by I'm not sure. So I guess you could call that fully scrambled. Okay, so uh, onto the Tower of Babel. Now I think this is a knockoff of the. I think the original one was called Tower of Babylon, and it was made in Hungary in the 1980s. Don't quote me on that; I could be wrong. So I think this is actually a knockoff. 
Um, I don't want to destroy the label too much. I can feel that there seems to be like a gap in the plastic there. So if I cut around it, hopefully I can get this uh, this uh, this part off and take the puzzle out. Okay, so hopefully I can get this black plastic part off, and I can, I think. There we go. And inside we've got some instructions. Just pause the video if you want to read any of that, it should be in focus hopefully. Here is the puzzle itself. It's a really nice looking puzzle, I think. Um, so it seems that this is basically a similar puzzle to the Varrican Tower, only the colours of the balls fades from a light colour to a darker colour, so that should make it more of a challenge. Um, so as you can see, there's no actual gap where these balls are to actually move them up and down. So I think you can press in any of these bottom ones and that will create a gap or is it just one? yeah it's actually got like a, a line there so it means that you can press this in to create a gap um, or this one as well so let's press it in ok it's not staying in for some reason that's kind of weird uh, do I press both of them in at the same time? Well that's weird, I'm sure they should stay in when you press them in. Uh, let's see if it says anything on the instructions. Uh, okay. Spring loaded recess, press ball in to create space. Well that's what I've done but it won't stay in for some reason. Um, maybe if I slide one down then okay that's what you're supposed to do, you press it in you slide one of the balls down and then you get like a permanent gap. Well it's only permanent until you just slide them up and then it comes back out. I was kinda of worried then, I thought I might have had a faulty Tower of Babel. I wonder if you can press the other one in as well when the... No, you can't do. So when you've got one of them pressed in, you can't press in the other one. So now we've got a gap to move the balls around and obviously you can move these layers as well. So uh, yeah, let's just scramble it up so you can see what it looks like when it's scrambled. Yeah, the, uh, the Varrican Tower that I used to have, um, I just didn't find it fun at all because there wasn't really any puzzle there, um, it wasn't a challenge at all, it didn't require you to think, you just basically place the balls where they go and that's all there was to it, there was no trickiness to it, there was no thinking involved um, you know, it's, there was no actual puzzle there so I just ended up selling it So yeah, probably not the best scramble because I'm just doing it quickly for the video. So that's the uh, the Tower of Babel. And lastly, we have got the. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Actually, move it over there. Lastly, we have got the uh, Shengshao Crazy Two by Two. 
Uh, so as you can see, it says lots of fun there. Magic Cube. Bla brains Exploitation. Modern and elegant in fashion. You've got a screwdriver taking apart a 3x3 three three there. And yeah, warning choking hazard small parts not suitable for children under 3 years, made in China, not to 3 sad onion. Specifications, colours and contents may vary from illustration. Ok, so let's open this up. So I do already have the Shang Shao Crazy 2x2x4 I think it's called and uh, my thinking is that this Crazy 2x2 should be different to solve than the 2x2 part on the Shang Shao Crazy 2x2x4 I could be wrong and if I am wrong then I've just wasted my money on this but uh, yeah hopefully this is different to solve than the uh, than the 2x2 part on the Crazy 2x2x4 two by two by and this moves really nicely so uh, yeah let's see what the corner coin is like it's not great but that doesn't really matter so let's give it a quick scramble. So of course, since this, since I'm going to do a quick scramble, it's not going to be that thorough, really. But it's just to uh, let you see what it looks like when it's uh, scrambled. Yeah, I think this needs a bit of breaking in because the wheel keeps getting stuck. So yeah, so that's the uh, the Sheng Shao. Okay, sorry about that, but the camera stopped recording. It only records for 20 minutes and then it stops. So you've got to press record again if you still want to continue uh, making the video. So yeah, I forgot to show the packaging for the Tower of Babel. Uh, there it says, warning, if you pick it up, you'll never be able to put it down. Let's hope that's true. And uh, there it says trillions of combinations, but only one solution. So yeah, we have the Tower of Babel, the Sheng Shao Crazy Two by Two, and the Cube View Three by Three by Seven. Thanks for watching.